itself. You know these LCD screens that you're starting to see more and more in public spaces? On top of gas pumps, entrance to museums, food menu boards, just everywhere. And they almost always have this split screen configuration. Each screen division runs some different content, like scrolling text at the bottom and a weather widget, some advertisements, or videos. Well, that's called digital signage, which is just a big word someone came up with for a pretty simple concept. And sometimes you can even interact with the screen. You use your finger like a virtual mouse and point to navigate menus and make selections, buy stuff. Well, that's called a kiosk. So, some guys at Media Signage ask, what if we design this really cool software application that allows you to create this signage presentation on your computer and once you're happy with it, just push it down to a bunch of computers that are connected to the internet. Each computer will store all the data locally so it's not dependent on the internet all the time. And what if you didn't have to deal with servers or regular updates or complicated setups? You didn't need any static IPs or even any special software. Just make it easy so everyone can use it. And then they said, let's make this run on everything. I mean, on Windows and Linux and even Mac, and what if you could also run the same presentation inside a web browser and across mobile devices and tablets? Just build your presentation once and have it run everywhere. And so, that's what they did. They developed this really cool application called the Signage Studio that you could use to build your campaign. The campaign is made of a bunch of timelines, and each timeline has channels. Now, think of a timeline as a visual playlist, and you can add all your media content to it. You can add videos, RSS and weather, stock tickers, live TV, images, HTML, websites, scrolling text, Swift animation, PDF, interactive widgets, just a lot of stuff. Now, your remote players, which are nothing more than just regular computers, you know, like the one you're using right now, are installed with this application called the Signage Player. So we have Signage Studio right here, which is where you build and manage your presentation. And then you have the Signage Player, which plays back the Signage presentation. Each signage player can be connected to one or more screens using, you know, standard video cable. Just to any TV. It's that simple. So, whenever you want to make a change, just save it in the signage studio. And this will update your remote signage players. Get it? It's that easy. And to make things even more interesting, the guys at Media Signage decided to keep the platform completely open. So you can resell it to your customers, set your own prices, brand it with your own logo, or even embed it onto your own website. Okay, well, that sounds easy enough. So how do you get started? Well, if you're like me, you don't want a long sales pitch or read through a boring manual and you definitely don't want to wait for a demo CD in the snail mail. You just want to use it right now. So here you go. See this button? Get started? Yeah, this one. Right here. Click it and launch the Signage Studio to create your account. And guess what? It's free. Yep, I said you can use it for free. It's not shareware, it's not trialware, it's not crippleware, it's completely freeware. Now, I know what you're thinking. There must be a catch. Well, there isn't. Just open your free account right now on our Media Cloud. That's just a fancy name where we park all of our servers. And you'll be able to remote manage all of your players. And all for free. You get an amazing platform that does, well, everything. So there you have it. Just open your free account now. And soon enough, you will have a digital signage network everywhere.